Hey, what's up? It's me again, Soroke Pro, and I want to share with you how you can quickly resolve an issue like this. It happened to me earlier today, and I quickly recorded this one so that maybe if you are going to run into problems like this, you know what you're doing. So let's look into my computer first and try to see what happened before they start a problem begun. So I have a USB display adapter here I want to use with my laptop. I plugged it in and it started to install a driver so that the computer can communicate with the display adapter. So let's wait for this one to install. And after installing, it then prompted me to install the software so that I can use the display adapter with my laptop. So I installed this one. It then required me to restart the computer. So I did restart my computer. My computer will restart. We're just going to wait for a while so that we can see what will happen. As my computer is restarting, you can see here already that it says preparing automatic repair. By the sense, we already know that there's something wrong with our laptop or our computer. Let's just wait for it. As you can see, this startup loop or startup problem has initiated already. Now, there are several options here, but for now, we'll try to continue this one to Windows 10 and try to see what will happen. Our computer will restart and will try to reload the operating system if it can. But as you can see here, it says preparing automatic repair. So it's the same. It's going to the loop or what we call the startup problem, startup issue or startup loop. There you go. The next thing we want to do here is click on troubleshoot and then go for advanced options and we'll try to do a startup repair. Now this will let us select the user. If there are multiple users you have here, you will select one only and you can go for next. Now this laptop will try to diagnose the PC and try to do everything it can so that it can load up the operating system. So we're going to wait for a while. After that step, this is the message startup repair cannot repair your PC. So let's go back to our advanced options, go to troubleshoot again, and then go for advanced options. Then go for startup settings. Here, there are several options we can do. Before we can do that one, we need to restart the PC again. So our computer will restart and then it will give us options that we can do. There are several options we can do and we can press F1 to F9 with the matching number we have here. The most recent change we did with our laptop when it was working was we installed a driver. So we're going to select number seven. We're going to press F7 here so that it will disable driver signature enforcement. Now it will restart the computer and try to load it up again. And then there you go. Voila, it's working my friends. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we want to uninstall that display software that was installed. So that if we're going to restart our computer, it will not go back to that startup loop again. So go to your control panel and uninstall the program. We have it here, right click, uninstall. Yes, we don't want you. So my take here is that the software of the display adapter is not compatible with the recent version of Windows 10. Though when I got the software, they said it supported Windows 10, but maybe with the latest updates of Windows 10, it's causing some issues. So uh, as we have installed, uninstalled this software, it will restart and let's see if it will have the issue again. Let's kind of wait so we can verify if this is working. So Windows 10 is loading. We'll just hope that issue is gone. I think, yeah. Okay, 
Windows 10 is good. Now, it doesn't need to be a display adapter you're plugging and then you're going to have that issue. There are a lot of things or there are a lot of causes that you will have a startup repair loop. Maybe you have installed a software and it caused an incompatibility issue with Windows 10 or another kind of driver. So if you are troubleshooting a startup repair, think of the last thing that happened before you had that error. So you can start the troubleshoot. Now, I hope you have learned something from this video. And if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, consider subscribing, like my videos, and share it to everybody. Once again, this is Torogi Pro. Goodbye.